Hi, everybody. Happy Saturday. Actually, happy happy Labor Day. Labor Day 2020. Couldn't come soon enough. All right, so we are continuing with the work that uh, my wife came by in the last video and has started helping me do a lot of uh, labeling for the wires in the cockpit. This is certainly a two-person operation. It really helps. Uh, not that things aren't labeled now, but like when you have, let's say, a 10-foot piece of wire, right, that goes from, say, a light or something up the fuselage, around the pumps and, you know, up to a load or something, you know, it's labeled, but where exactly do you put the labels? Having not really thought it through, remember a long time ago when I had the nice construction paper out and I had all the... Uh, statum points done so it's like okay here's the arms for all the different points where the wires are going to go and i had like a little skeleton made that's great what i should have done is before i done anything i should have wire tied all that shit together and i should have labeled everything in some certain hot spots right places where you need labels let's go right here uh right by the circuit panels uh let's see right where the right on either side of where the wires go towards the wings Right. So as the wires are going from the center cons, uh, center tunnel into the wings, everything right there should be labeled. Uh, right at the outside of the of where the wings are, everything there should be labeled. Right before they go into the grounding wires, everything should be labeled. Right as they come from the back of the sub panel, another label, because those are the areas where you're going to be manhandling crap tons of wires. And it's like, huh, um, the flat position sensor wire for some reason broke. All right, well, <laughs> which which one is it? Yeah, shit if I know. So, yeah. What's important, what's really important is making sure everything's uh, labeled well. So what's going on here, and this is a great two-person job, is so we're uh, identifying a lot of the power wires coming from the back of the panel, right? So all of the G3X stuff. And my wife is tugging on the lead wire, and I'm seeing which one gets tugged. I tug back. We confirm that that's the one. Great, that's for this display. All right, so I make a little shrink rack label, hand it to her, she slides it over the wire, and at a certain point, which is generally like two or three inches below where, where these wires are going to be joining the circuit breaker panel, that's where she slides the labels to, applies the heat gun, shrinks it up, looks great. And I really like that she's involved, right? This is cool, and she likes this kind of stuff. You know, it's 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 some good detail work because she's a detail-oriented person, right? And it's it's great because sometimes I cannot be. Sometimes I'm just like, eh, label it. What is the wire? I don't know. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This was, this was my idea to get her here to help. Okay, so uh, we were talking about mistakes, and I said that I was going to make a huge one. Well, here it is. Uh, it's not an actual mistake in the build. Don't worry. The build is still going, and everything is good. But what happened was... I've got my wife over and I'm thinking, you know what, this is fantastic. Having the fuselage on the ground has been great. It's allowed me infinite access behind the panel to work on the wiring. And you know, now I think I'm at a good spot, so it's time to hoist it onto this table. Because this table is just the right height so that we can start putting on the landing gear. What the f*** was I thinking? Now, I know this is going to look all really pretty, and this is going to be awesome. It's going to be like, <gasps> because, you know, we're making some forward progress. All right, look. That fuselage on the ground, damn near infinitely easier to work on, work on the wiring than it is when this plane is at full height. Right? So, where you see it on that table, it's really only going to get about uh, two or th maybe two or three inches higher tops. I'm going to say, yeah, about two and a half inches taller. That's all that that's going to get. And so when I stand on the side of that fuselage now where the wiring is, it's like, you know what? This is pretty and all. I really could have waited like a couple more weeks before doing this. But still, none of that matters. Let's let's just look how, how awesome this is. Front gear's on. And look, the, the thing about the gear, it's not very particularly difficult, right? These are big load bearing objects this it's, it's basically a lot of heavy bolts and nuts with cotter pins All right so anyway everyone have a great weekend uh have a good labor day and i'm still putting a video out monday so see you soon